Good morning. I just wanted to uh, just have a message that the Lord gave me, and um, I just want to speak it. It's um, I'm just gonna get. I don't have that much time. I'm just gonna get jump right in it. Luke 9:23 says, "Then he said to them all, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross daily and follow me." This message is about not denying ourselves daily. I think a lot of us, man, a lot of us who follow the Lord, who go to church, we only do it, we don't do it 100%. We're not devoting our our lives to the Lord 100%. We're not following Jesus 100%. And we're not trying to. We're going to church on Sunday. We're denying ourselves on Sunday. But the rest of the other days in the week, we still are doing the things that we like to do, that our flesh desires, the things of this world. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're not. And the, here's the thing. We're going to continue to fight and battle things. But some of us aren't even willing to fight and battle. We're, allow we we're allowing ourselves to do it. We enjoy it so much. We'll do it Monday through Friday, and then Sunday will come, and then we'll, okay, let's go to church, and I'm going to de deny myself today. But in this message, in this scripture, it says, Then he said to them all, whoever wants to be my disciple, this is Jesus speaking, whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross daily and follow me daily. And it's a daily thing. And it's a daily thing we must do every morning. And here, here are some of the things we struggle with. Um, cussing, using curse words. Um, men struggle with lust and women. Uh, women struggle with uh, dressing very sexual and, um, and showing a lot of their private you know, pri secluded things off, private, private things off, and uh, you know, grasping for attention. A lot of us also still struggle with. Well, I guess it's not a struggle if we're not fighting it. We're allowing ourselves to to, to do it. We're fulfilling our fleshful desires. Um, what is uh, music? I think music is a very big thing. We want to follow the Lord, but yet we're just listening to worldly music still. That has so much in it that could put seeds in our heads. Ah, what else do we struggle with? Drunkenness. We, uh, a lot of us have mixed emotions. Not mixed emotions, different opinions is a better a, 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 a better word on being on drinking. But to me personally, clearly, it, it says drunkenness it, it is a sin. So during our week, we continue to do these things, but yet we still want to serve the Lord 55%, 50% of our, of our life, or not even that, 25%. What, what's, what's 1% of, what's 1% of 7%, you know, Sunday. All right, Ephesians 4.29, do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. S using speaking words of encouragement, speaking words of building others up, loving, full, uh, ha allow your mouth to be full of love, speaking uh, words full of love to others instead of. Uh, um, cussing, bickering, complaining, and I know we live in the flesh, and I know our fleshly will will try to do that, but we need to be aware. We need to be aware of these things so we can fight them, and each day we need to be aware of walking in the Spirit, of walking in the Spirit, which we must deny ourselves daily so we could walk in the Spirit instead of walking in the flesh instead of only on Sundays. Here it is, and on Sundays we go to church. We won't, we won't cuss in the church. We won't, we won't 
bicker in the church. I'll, you know, we won't do these things in church. But as soon as we leave church, we can we we do them again. Just because you're not in church, you should still watch the things you do daily. The Lord is watching us. The Lord is watching us. Ephesians 5, 4. Nor should there be obscenity, foolish talk, or coarse joking, which are out of place, but rather thanksgiving. Here's another thing about speaking. Um, foolish talk, but rather thanksgiving. When we speak, be grateful. Use grateful words. You know, as like I said before, encouraging each other. Use grateful words. Use positive words. Our, our tongues are very powerful. And there's so much scripture in, there's so much truth in the Bible that tells us how powerful our, our tongues are and our mouths are. And when we cuss, man, and, and some of us may even use the Lord's name in vain. We must, we must, if you want to be a true disciple, we must deny ourselves and get rid of all this and walk in the flesh or walk, not, not walk in the flesh, but walk in the spirit daily, daily. It's a daily battle. First Timothy 2, 9. I also want the women to dress modestly with decency and propriety, adorning themselves, not with elaborate hairstyles or gold or pearls or expensive clothes. First Peter 3, 3. And three, four, your beauty should not come from outward adornment, such as elaborate hairstyles and the wearing of gold jewelry or fine clothes. Rather, it should be that of your inner self, the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is of great worth in God's sight. I'm going to read four again. First Peter 3, 4, rather, it should be that of your inner self beauty the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit which is of great worth in god's sight ah oh, how many of you guys how many of you how many women are following the lord but putting themselves on social media dressing all this all this way how the lord says not to I, 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 there's probably, probably plenty of reasons why you're doing it. Attention, uh, low self-esteem, um, but all those things you're doing it, you should be giving it to the Lord in each day. In each day. We must. It is so important. Like, where is your heart at? Where is your heart at? Do you wake up daily wanting to? We get so excited for Sunday, but that excitement shouldn't stop on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We should give our day to the Lord. He gave us the day to be alive. We should live for Him because we are here on this earth to, to serve His will. Oh! What is it? What does it say? Give your heart, your mind, and your soul, and all your strength to the Lord daily. All right, so, all right, this is how we know the enemy is alive and real because a lot of women who dress like this, and here is it, here it is, and guys, a lot of men, including myself, struggle with lust and, 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 and physical beauty. You know, the lust of the eyes. Excuse me. Proverbs 6.25 says, Do not lust in your heart after her beauty or let her captivate you with her eyes. We're not even trying, men. Proverbs 7.25, Do not let your heart turn to her ways or stray into her paths. Matthew 5.28 but I tell you that anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Alright, three scriptures I just read. And how many of us men, even on social media, we're, we're, ah, or Instagram, or 
Facebook, we put all these things, we put all these women's pictures um, that degrade them, that is disrespectful. Uh, we, and we say we follow the Lord, we say we pray, but we still do these things. I myself battle with us, but I myself fight it daily. In my in each morning, I ask the Lord to give me strength. If I become tempted, allow me to walk in the Spirit more than I did yesterday. Don't let me follow the desires of my flesh. Give me holy eyes. Please give me holy eyes. We must battle. We can't follow the Lord someday, and we can't do the things we want to continue to do for in this world the other days. We we continue, and what we're doing. It's double dutching. You know, some days we're with the world. Other days we want to follow the Lord. I mean, where's your heart? Where's your heart at? Colossians 3, 5 and 3, 7. It says, Put to death, therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature. Sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires, and greed, which is idolatry. Because of these, the wrath of God is coming. Because the wrath of God is coming. Our God is a jealous, jealous God. And his wrath is nothing to mess with. I mean, you should see if you don't. Are you not familiar with his wrath? Go to the Old Testament. Look up his wrath and his anger. And he's a jealous, jealous God. I mean, his wrath is nothing to play with. And we have to get real while we're living on this earth. And we have to get real with ourselves and with the Lord. All right, Colossians 3, 7. You used to walk in these ways in life, in the life you once lived. But now you must also rid yourselves of all such things as these. Anger, rage, malice, slander, and filthy language from your lips. Oh, we want to, I mean, the Lord grabbed us on our, on our walk of this world. While we were lost, he grabbed us. And then we stopped. We, we, want to, we don't want to continue to walk with the Lord. We pray some days. How many of us are even reading our Bible? Daily. We continue to dabble in the worldly ways. And in our own ways. Daily we must crucify ourselves. Deny ourselves. And walk with the Lord. Everything should be for the Lord's glory. Everything, when you work, when you grocery shop, when you pump gas, when you speak to a stranger, when you're cleaning your house and you're raising your kids, everything should be to the Lord's glory. Everything. Walking in public. Live this day for the Lord. Not one day for the Lord, all days for the Lord. Revelation 3.15 and 3.16 I know your deeds, that you are neither cold or hot. You are neither cold or hot. So because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I am about to spit you out of my mouth. I am about to spit you out of my mouth, the Lord says this. And that's what we are. Lukewarm Christians. We're not on fire for God no more. We're not on fire for God. And we're not cold because we know who he is. So we're sitting right there in the middle temperature, just warm. Still living for the world, but going to church. Still drinking, but going to church and singing worship songs. Cussing and praying with the same mouth. Dressing pro 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 provocatively. Looking at women lustfully. We must get rid of all this. 
We must walk in our new creation. The Lord is done with our old self. And we put on your new self. We are not. We are not that person no more. We have the Holy Spirit living in us. Walk in the Spirit. Walk in the gift that is given to us. The Lord says, I will spit you out of my mouth. Oh, man. Isaiah 29, 13. The Lord says, these people come near to me with their mouth and honor me with their lips. But their hearts are far from me. Their worship of me is based on merely human rules they have been taught. We go to church. We pretend to be holy. We throw our hands in the air. We sing songs. We speak holy words. But how many of us is putting on this front and in this act on Sundays? Because when we leave the church, our hearts are still the same. Our hearts are not on God. Our hearts are on desires of our flesh and the things we enjoy to do. Denying yourself is giving up your old way of, uh, of speech, the way you used to, your language, cussing. Giving up the music you want to hear. Denying yourself is denying everything about you. You want to look at that woman walk by, but you you can't. You're denying yourself. So we do these things throughout the week. But then on Sundays we go to the Lord. And we just praise. We worship. We praise Him. We're not even praising Him with our lives. 1 Corinthians 6, 19, 6, 20. Do you know what? Do you know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You are bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your bodies. Honor God with your bodies. And see, that's another thing. How many of us are still having sex? We say we serve the Lord. We say we pray. We say we're godly men. We're godly women. But we're still having sex. Fornication. How many of us are truly living for the Lord? How many of us? We need to start serving Him. Fully. Fully. And I battle daily. It's a daily thing. Daily thing. And we will fail. But the thing is, we don't get ahead of ourselves. We just do it one day at a time. Desiring to serve the Lord. Desiring to love the Lord. We have these temples and they're not ours. Just like everything else in this world. It all belongs to the Lord. Everything is a blessing and a gift from our Father. We must honor Him and glorify Him. Romans 12.1 Therefore I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy... To offer your bodies as a living sacrifice. Holy and pleasing to God. Alright, listen to me. This is your true and proper worship. I think a lot of us have worship. Have the meaning of worship mixed up. A lot of us think worship is going to church... Or putting in some music and just singing. And some of us when we're actually singing. 
Are you even singing with your hearts? Are those are those words touching your soul? Is that is that when you're singing? Is that more than a song? Is it a communication with the Lord? A conversation you're having with the Lord when you're speaking to Him? We think worship is just singing. It says in Romans 12, 1, that true and proper worship is offering your bodies as a living sacrifice, denying ourselves. So are we worshiping the Lord with our lives, daily lives? Think about it. A lot of us aren't. A lot of us are still running around wild some days during the week. Then we go to church. We may pray every now and then. But we pray with words, not with meaning and, per and deep meaning. Or with our hearts. The Lord knows our hearts. That's just back in... Uh, Back in Isaiah 29, 13, the Lord says, These people come near to me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Psalm 61, 8. Then I will ever sing in praise of your name and fulfill my vows day after day. Psalm 119, 164. Seven times a day I praise you for your righteous laws I know we're on different a lot of us we all have our different individual walks with the Lord and some of us are more mature, mature than others but where that doesn't we can't we can't comparing ourselves isn't what the Lord wants what the Lord wants is your heart You can't divide your heart with the world and the Lord. Some of us still like these worldly things. And we like them so much. We ignore what it says in the Bible. The things we like so much. We ignore what it says in the Bible. So we try to come up reasons in our mind to justify these things so we can continue to do these things. The Lord's, God's word is true and powerful. We must, if we want, if we want our souls to be alive when we pass away, we must follow Jesus, denying ourselves daily and being obedient to God's word. Everything, everything. Dear God, dear Father, thank you. Thank you for your message. Thank you for your wisdom and thank you for your knowledge, Lord. I pray to use me as you gave me words and you gave me the Holy Spirit to speak through me that it touches someone, that it touches their heart. Show us, Father, how to deny ourselves daily. Show us how to walk in your spirit and not in the flesh. Give us the desires of what only comes from you in our hearts, God. Let us get rid of the desires of the flesh and the things we love. Give us only room in our hearts to serve you and love you and devote you, devote our life to you, honoring everything we do, being amazing, kingdom-minded examples to people here on earth who are unbelievers.
Thank you, Father. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. And thank you for your son's sacrifice. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Father. In Jesus' name, I pray. I pray these things in your son's name. God bless you guys. Enjoy your day.